Hello everyone and welcome to State of War 2 Archon. This is a sequel to State of War, as you may have expected. This game here does not have a true single player campaign here, unlike State of War and State of War Warmonger. It's geared towards multiplayer. You can play it online, well, if the servers were still up, which I'm pretty sure they are not, or you can also play it via LAN. And they've also changed the gameplay a bit. The art style is still not quite what you're used to, but it's quite similar. And they've changed a couple of things. So there's less focus on tower defense. You can build more structures than towers now. You don't just take stuff over, but you do have a couple of elements that we had before. So we have this main building here that's going to project these other buildings. The reason why we project these is because I've built a couple of you here. This game here, plot-wise, is a simulation. So essentially it's a, an, an e-sport, like an in-game e-sport. And the reason why it's called Archon is because it deals with artificial combat, because everything you see is just simulated. That's why you have this projector here, which has this cannon here that just projector cannons buildings here. We're going to build some units here quite quickly, which is why we're going to build more than one arms factory here. And we're going to get some buggies. The buggies are not particularly strong. In fact, they're, they're kind of pathetic. But they're probably the best we have at this stage here. So we're going to capture these spikes here. These credit terminals here give us money. We have these these Krona here. The reason why it's Krona and why this game here is not in English is because it was developed by a Czech developing team. And as far as I know, it was not translated into English. So now we're going to join this in Czech. And that's why we have Krona here. We're just going to capture the spikes. We're going to build a couple more of these guys here. We're going to build some towers here. Yeah, we don't want to build too many of these because this game has a very strict pop limit. The pop limit applies to units and buildings. So you don't want to, to build too many towers or even too many production facilities. But there's a couple more things we do want. Namely a technology center here. Let's build one of those. We just killed the enemy E1. The E1 is a little bit like your advancer. And, oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. And the E1 is going to be able to capture enemy structures, or rather these terminals here can disable enemy structures. And it can also repair stuff, so it's a, quite an essential unit. So we, do we have any, any pop left? I uh, don't think we do. Actually we do, never mind. So let's build one of these here, build another one here, and then we're out of pop, but that's okay. So let's go south. We would want, oh, there's another one of you here. Yeah, the eye tends to send their stuff all over the map for better or worse. Okay, so we, and we just lost this guy here because our E1 wasn't in the area. You know what, doesn't really matter. If they capture some of the stuff here, it doesn't really matter all that much. There's a couple of game modes which are not the, there's not really a campaign, there's a campaign mode, but what that one does is, I've got another one with you here, is essentially provide you with the 5x5 grid map, which you can capture in the multiplayer mode. But, oh, so there's a bunch of these guys here, that's okay, we've got more buggies than you have, so let's capture whatever they've captured here. And yeah, everything in this game has too much health. And the enemy also tends to drive away when they when the units are on low health occasionally, which I found somewhat interesting because in most other games they just fight to the death. Let's destroy you here. We're also going to... Wow, they, they build... I'm not quite sure why they have so many of these guys here already because surely... Let's get another one of you then. Actually, no, no, why, why am I building infantry? That's not what I wanted. I want to build one of these guys here. So there's, that was... Um, yeah, that's what I want to do. So what we what we saw there was an air attack. You still have those. They recycle the sound effect from State of War 2. But other than that, this game still shares some similarities gameplay-wise and also with regard to, to its art style. So you can kind of see where they're coming from. Okay, so we're going to destroy this factory here. Oh, the enemy is uh, approaching those guys as well. That's actually quite helpful. So we're going to take the opportunity to Actually, we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to take this down first. That's going to take a while, but that's how it is. Because the enemy here is distracted by the other enemy, which is nice. 
Can we already upgrade anything? No, we cannot. Can we get ourselves a bonus? If, there we go. Let's get this one here. Select for that. Oh, great. Now they're, they're going after us. I guess they just killed wh whomever did, did attack them there. That's okay with me. Didn't we build another one? Of th yeah, we did. You're just behind this, this credit terminal here. That's okay with me. So let's murder you guys here. Oh, they're building infantry. Yeah, infantry just melts away. It's, it's so useless in this game here. Everything else has way too much health. Everything else just lasts an absolute eternity, which is not so great. But what can you do about that? So other than yeah, you you have to drive you have to drive all the way out of uh, out of range if you want to prevent this one here. And they also build too many E1s here, but that's okay. So we're going to disable their factory here. Can't take it over, but we can. Can we actually attack you? Just hang around there, whatever. Kill everything else then. Kill the stupid factory here. Are you... Oh snap, they have defense shots there, so we don't want to deal with those. Do they have a... I think they might have a stealth field here, so... Something along those lines. Can we actually attack you? Well, never mind. So you're going to... Can you disable that again while it's already disabled? Maybe. Just wondering whether you can disable, uh, whether can you reset the disable meter there. And you please try to bring down that building. So they took over some stuff here that's acceptable. We're going to build one more uh, E1 here. And yeah, then we can't build anything else because we're low on pop, but that's acceptable. We're going to try and take out their factory here. You can get over here and maybe try to disable that again. Let's see whether that actually works. Or do we have... No, it looks like we have to wait for it to start production again. You know what? That's acceptable. And didn't we... Yeah, we did get another one of you here. So you can please take retake this. And you can may as well take over the spikes here. So we may have, may have uh, destroyed one of the enemies here already. The yeah, is not, not good with just attacking with this stuff here, it, it barely deals any damage. So let's select our tech center here. And yep, we can get advanced technology, which is great. So you take that over. Great, this guy here is taking that over again, but that's okay. You can take that over. Do we have any pop slots left? We do. So let's get some aircraft here. A lot of these units here are just way, way more powerful than anything you had before, so oftentimes it just doesn't really add up. We do have a fair amount of money, we have enough credit terminals, but the limiting factor at this point will probably be how many pop slots we have, not necessarily how how much firepower we can just buy ourselves. So this factory here is half dead, which is great. There we go, you can... I guess you can take these spikes here. You may as well do that. Oh, hello. Well, so, oh, that was my guy, and I selected the, the wrong, uh, the wrong guy here. You were supposed to do that. Yep, yeah, you want, may as well do that. Okay, so this has been disabled. Then you, you just continue to disable these buildings here. You just come over here because we're still being attacked by these turrets, which have ridiculous range. And it's actually w it wouldn't be bad if you lost a unit or two because that would mean that we could probably. I'll build more of these air guys here. So let's select you here. You can attack these turrets here and get yourself killed elegantly. You come down here. This building is going to be reactivated earlier. Let's free some pop slots. There we go. So here we are. Let's get another one of you. What are you up to? Oh, so that other guy's already taking that back. You know what? Doesn't really matter. So we're going to take you out. Hopefully we can kick one of these guys here out of the fight entirely. But you're also kind of weak. May as well get rid of you. And there we go. You're going to deactivate this again. And this building here is actually dying now. That's great. This guy here is eight percent done. Nice, nice. Oh great! Now we are, now we are all in a just on a quest here to disable all these buildings here as quickly as possible. Can't afford that guy. Oh snap! Really? You you built that tech center? That's I guess that's okay because that's not really going to get us get you far here. Let's sacrifice one more guy so we can definitely need to take out the HQ here so we can build another another copter here. Okay, so you just get me this. We can, we can keep this up again. 
the the money we have here is not really there we go oh snap we have a lot of uh, stuff to right here and we can afford this as well you can't get all the stuff straight away because you need points for that and you only you only get those for actually fighting so that's this game's way of encouraging you to actually move out and do stuff as you can tell the buildings have way way too much health so you take this here back we should be able to take it back at the same rate that we should be yeah we should disable this again Yeah, this, this HQ is especially just, just has so much health, it's, it's ridiculous. Thankfully the AI is, to be honest, the AI is kind of, it's kind of uh, like all over the place in this game. Yeah, occasionally it rushes you so quickly you ask yourself how the hell did they even manage to, to get that many units that quickly and occasionally they just sit there and almost do nothing, so it's a, it's an interesting mix, let's put it this way. This projector here gives you your radar, but I think most of the time it's not really worth sacrificing anything for. And it also, let's let me what may as well deactivate you, it also allows you to get holo projections done that don't really do anything. So they're not like the Ixian projections from Emperor Battle for Dune, they're a little bit worse than that. So you can get over here. And do you want anything else here? You know what? We should probably research more. So you can let's get this one here going. You can get another air unit there. That's going to be great to have. So you should probably deactivate this in the near future because the last thing we need is them rebuilding their factory here. Or building a second headquarters, which you can build. Yeah, everything has too much health. This game has several modes. Deathmatch here is almost what you think it is it just means kill everything but there's also other modes some where you can and can't build others where you just get fixed units or where units are free there's like a kind of a, a regicide style mode one third of the health here is down this is just not okay so what else do we want here let's, can, uh, yeah, let's get these guys here uh, yeah maybe you guys here there we go and we do have that tag, so did we... Yeah, we did get, gain access to the V2, nice, nice. Let's get two of you. Let's hope that allows us to get stuff done a little bit faster. But I'm not, not holding my breath here. So you just stay around here. Let's hope the AI kills one another a little bit in the meantime here. You know what, you can, you can take this back. Yeah. Resources are not really the concern here because we generally have enough, but there would be if, if you could spam unlimited units or had a way higher pop cap, which we don't. Okay, there we go, so you can disable this here again. And let's just go back to base here. These guys here need a while to, to, to be constructed, but hopefully they also bring more firepower in because that would be great. There we go, got this guy here and got that guy. I yeah, kind of like the design here. It's a, This game is from 2007, so it's a fairly late late 2D game. At this point here, there were already a lot of 2D games around. Should I just sacrifice more of these buggies here? Because I mean, if you're being honest, they just don't deal any damage. Let's hope that these guys here deal a little bit more damage. So everybody here is attacking and I don't even see the, the health bars going down. That's That's kind of frustrating, to be honest. Uh, it goes for everything, even even the, the weak buggies. You'd think those would just collapse immediately, but no, they, they do not. They do not go down uh, like that. But at least, yeah, these guys here, they deal some damage occasionally. That's al There's also crates in this game here. So if you like your Command & Conquer crates, then you'll find these here. Yeah, I think we're just going to sacrifice more of these because I really... I really like just, just can't do anything with these guys here. They deal so little damage, it's just not worth it. You can please deactivate this building here again. And... Oh snap, one of these guys here. So what you might want to build here is... Maybe some anti-air. Yeah, let's get one of these here. Build. It's a bit annoying that we need to, need to allocate resources to that, but what can you do? 
you may as well deactivate this. And you can just pop this down here, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Should be sufficient, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that deals some actual damage, but that's a very dedicated building. That's one that's own that whose sole purpose is to kill other air units. Oh, well, not other air units. It's not an air unit, so I guess that's not too surprising then. Is it whatever we killed there? More of you guys here. That's okay. Also, is that, is that some sort of nuke silo there? It looks like one, like a nuke sam silo. Not quite. It's, it's not the true nuke symbol. Anyway, we, we've almost destroyed this building here. Let's hope the enemies have killed one another in the meantime a little bit. We can probably leave this guy here alone because without the main building, I don't think you ever get it back. Could be mistaken, but I don't think I am. So let's deactivate this when, when it goes back online because the last thing we need is them just building, building one of these here last second. Another H HQ that is. Didn't we... I thought we did build another one of these. Oh, I think they disabled that, didn't they? They sure did. Okay, let's see. Nope, can't get anything else yet. That's okay. So let's just build another one of you here. Okay. Just just destroy this building here, please. Please. Have mercy and just blow it up. You can deactivate this again. This is just... There we go. Wow, look at that explosion. We've earned that explosion because, damn, that took a, long, a lot of time. Let's see how fast you go down. A lot faster than that main building. So that's something then you can take this over again. Didn't we have... Oh yeah, we did have another one of you. In fact, I should utilize you. How about that? Alright. So one enemy is sort of down. That's not too bad. And... Let's see... Allocate this here. And... Yeah, I admittedly don't understand this game in its entirety because... Yeah, I've read the manual, but that's that's not always sufficient to, to just understand everything. And... Hey, let's... Can, can we kill you here? Let's see... Ah, you don't, you don't deal that much damage against these guys here, but that's understandable because... You are... I mean, like the rocket guys are traditionally not that good against the infantry, are they? So you take that over. What are you doing? You're taking this over. Nice, nice. You may as well steal that. And then we can check out what the enemy has. Can we afford more... These here? No, we cannot. Could build some more vehicles, but I don't think those have any, any use right now, so we're not going to bother with that. Just going to wait for you to... There we go. Another credit terminal. It's been taken over, you just take these over. Yeah, the enemy is going to do that as well, but that's okay. We can generally take them back at a rate that's good enough. There's a crate, but I'm not going to bother going for that right now. What you can do is check out what the enemy is doing up here. I mean, they can just build anti-air, but with some luck they can actually... Oh, this is great, now they have anti-air here. You actually go down somewhat fast. Not that fast, but we probably have to rebuild a couple of these, but I think we can can make this work. We take that over. Yeah, but of course I can rebuild that pretty much immediately, so we'll, we'll see how far that, that actually gets me. Killed another one of you, and that's all we can afford. But that's okay. So there we go, that's Sam Sides. Gone. So can you guys actually attack? You can attack other air units. Good, good. That's good then. And we might have to replace yeah, another one of you. That's also not a problem. Can this do that? There we go. And now this might turn into a complete war of attrition. In fact, it, it does. Yeah. So let's... Hmm. The question is how do we break this? We could just try to lure them down here. We could also try to get these guys here killed because they sure... You know what, you just take this over. Maybe you can... Uh, can we really credit staff them? It seems unlikely, doesn't it? We'll have to see. Oh, snap. Blue, what you're doing here? You know what, let's just, let's just run. Because we don't want to fight all of these guys here at the same time. How about that? 
How can you even see me? Uh, anyway. You can take this here. Also, don't tell me you're allied. Wait, or were they chasing blue? That's possible as well. You know what? Doesn't really matter. We're going to get... Why can't I... Really? I don't have I don't have enough pop slots yet. Thought I did. Okay. We want whatever. Okay, so these here are protected. Yeah, the, you can build an like an energy shield building that gets you gets you protection, and that one will uh, protect these units here for a while. But I didn't think that would last that long. But anyway. So there we go, we got another one of you. I guess you can just try to eliminate this player here. Maybe I shouldn't have picked four players for this, because evidently this, this will just be an, a slot. Really, I could have sworn I had lost more guys here, but evidently I haven't. But I guess these guys here are almost dead, so... Maybe that made a difference there. And you can please take that over. And we could also try what these guys here in the north are doing. Maybe they are... They're a little bit exposed now that their units here were just hanging around here. Even if they are, I mean, it's, it's really easy to counter these guys here because you can just build... Just build one entire air turret and that's only going to cause a lot of trouble. So we can get... Oh, we can get artillery and stuff. We can also get a bunker and a really big tank. More of you here. Okay, so you should have you shouldn't have too much trouble taking these guys here out, but they're still still a bit of a hassle, aren't they? Okay, that's actually going to get itself killed in the near future, but that's okay. You know what? You can actually repair that. And did we... wait a second. Oh wait, oh, there you are. I was just wondering, where did everybody else go? But everything's fine, sort of. Do we want... do we just want to stick with air units here? We could get this really big tank and nothing else because... And you know what, you guys here are so dead, I think I'm just going to send you to your doom. And then we're going to build more interesting things from you. You just get over here. And you become the new group too. can take that over and where did I leave never mind so you guys are dead congratulations let's get some big boys on the ground here then one of these guys here and we can actually do you want these because I don't think we do okay, let's just abort this here so I think these are yeah these are some of the earlier models we don't want those maybe you want one or two of these here Okay, can't, can't afford those, that's okay. I guess we have one vacant slot here, but that's how it is. Oh, snap. Well, there's that. And in this case, I guess we can build another uh, artillery piece here. You can just continue to take this over and then have it be taken over for all eternity. Because I'm okay with that. All right. Let's see. Yeah, this this might take quite a while because we've only downed one enemy and I'm like, oh, there you are, also forming. Where did I leave you? You can just continue to take stuff over here and then have it be taken over. Yeah, maybe I should have just... I guess if I had just gone with one enemy, I would have ended this earlier, but I would have just rushed this guy and that would have been it. So whether or not that's really more interesting uh, is questionable. So... Let's just go through here, let's move out with you guys. You can join us here, because we probably want to take over some credit towers, credit terminals. Wow, you guys are slow, so you better are powerful as well. Damn, you're huge. Can you not get through here, really? Is that really? Okay, fine. Guess we're going to attack from the south then. Okay, everybody go down here. And you can, you can just continue to take this over. Yeah, this game has some pacing issues, I think. But oh well. We're going to make do with what we have. Okay, so you attack this guy here. Or well, someone has to take this guy out. At least that goes fast. 
Hey, your puny machine gun doesn't impress me. Do you have to be deployed? I hope not. That would be slightly bothersome. What's happening with you? Why don't you just take this over then? And we can kill this guy here. There we go. Hey, there's a crate. You can may as well pick that up. And there's my other artillery piece. Nice, nice. Let's see what we can get even more upgrades, because that would be great too. Oh snap, they have a tank there. Are you going to get through here? No, you're totally not. You, you're pretty much dead. There we go. So now he gets... Forgot what that building was. You know what? Doesn't matter. So just come over here. Let's hope these guys don't rely on their, their stupid shields too much. You may as well take that over. And then we're going to be locked into an eternity of just taking uh, that stuff back and forth, but that's okay. Yeah, the credit aspect here only works so well because you may as well... Oh, hey, you guys here. Oh, wow, you really, really bring out the big guns here, aren't you? Blue. But I'm okay with that. Alright, you guys here, you better be good considering how slow you are. Even the infantry is faster than you. But oh well, so you uh, may as well take that over. Yeah, we got this. Oh, this is still owned by Turquoise. Nobody ever took that over. Okay. Interesting. I thought I'd take. Well, someone had would have taken that over a long while ago, but I guess not. We may as well take this over while we are waiting for everybody else to show up. You're just over there. Wow, you're you're so slow. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Yeah, I also seem to like to just walk past stuff and then take it over. Because I don't seem to be too concerned with actually taking over what... What is in the immediate vicinity. But okay, uh, I can deal with that. Just take this over before we do anything else. And you squeeze through here in the near future. Let's check what they have here. They have more anti-air, I think. Yeah, so they have a lot more anti-air. That's okay, we're going to go with ground units here and only use our anti-air as anti-air. So you're taking that over, whatever. You just leave them. So you can take out these guys here. Or not, because we... Oh wow, look at that range. That's some scary range you have there. Okay, let's see what we can kill from a distance here. Now that we have these guys here, at the very edge of the screen. Maybe you need to do some scouting here. There we go. Yeah, you need to kind of deploy, but you do it automatically, so that's that's not bad, is it? You take out the... Whoa, whoa, whoa what are you doing? Don't get into... Why do you have to get into anti-air range here? You know, whatever. Suppose you could move forward a little bit so you can take out... The anti no, you stay here. Get over here. You take a step back here. You can take out this guy if you could. Of course, one, one downside of attacking them here is that that we that we can't reinforce stuff as quickly as they can. Which is a severe, severe disadvantage. And I already lost a, a whole bunch of stuff here. Yep, I sure did. This is just... Uh, this is agonizing, to be honest. At least these guys here take forever to actually go down, so that's good. That's very good indeed. And let's just wait until we have more of you. You can, uh, we can take that over if you really want to. So they're taking out more stuff here. Nice, nice. So let's just... Be careful here. We probably don't need that many artillery pieces because it seems that we can just uh, just get something done with one or two of them and then get more. You should really take these guys here out. What are you even attacking there? You know what? Never mind. Okay, there we go. And let's see. So we have more of you here. Nice, nice. So you come over here and maybe take out this guy. So one of these artillery pieces is almost down, but maybe we can 
can get a couple of these guys here down. Yeah, I think we can. Good, good. Yeah, that actually went a little bit faster than I thought. Of course, we could reinforce this as well, but damn, that's going to take an eternity, isn't it? it sure is. Uh, you can take this over if you would like to. Oh, great. Now you're flying uh, all across here. You know what? Now you're already coming. No. Really? They, now they destroyed all of these here? Ugh, this is just... How is this ever supposed to be going anywhere? Really? Because this is just... I mean, we can just try to fully recover from this, which we probably will. But first, let's get... Let's get you back to base. And you as well. And you maybe, maybe too. Do we still... Yeah, we still have you, so you get back over here. And do we have... You? Nope, you're dead. That's okay, too. Okay. So this is sealed off for larger vehicles, which I guess is nice. This here is not. So turns the artillery is pretty good, but we, we, we have trouble protecting it. So can we get more stuff researched here? We can get... So we, oh, we can get even bigger birds here. Okay, you know what, we should probably go with those then. Oh, uh, so... Oh yeah, we need to research that first. So we, I think we still want one or two of these. They seem to be quite useful. And yeah, we need to, need a while to take those over, that's okay with me. Yeah, you should, you know what, you should probably take those over, the ones over that are actually my base. But we'll get to that. Maybe we can go with an all-air strategy here. If, if one, once we have the, the big birds here. Let's maybe go with that then. We'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Yeah. The Y3. This being another game where the higher higher tier units are just flat out better than the lower tier ones, of course. We can't build a whole lot of these, but what can you do? So you are already... Yeah, now we're building four of these. Let's see how that goes. Maybe we can just staff the AI here. Which, to be honest, we probably don't really want that, because the the time it's going to take the AI to like, completely run out of money and then not be able to rebuild anything we destroy, it's probably going to be quite long, because destroying any, everything takes so long that them even having one credit terminal is probably going to take quite a while, but that's okay. Provided, did we... Why can we build another one of these? Did we... You know what? Never mind. You can kill this guy here, please. Ah, there we go. You're killing something at vaguely acceptable speed. Let's see how well you perform. You take that over, please. Hopefully you have some, at least some laser cannon or whatever. Oh snap, a bunch of you guys here. Oh, attack these, please. Oh, you, you, have, you do have death lasers. That's pretty good then. Death lasers, which do not deal a whole lot of damage against. Uh, wow, we take no damage. You know what? Whatever. Blues added again with their buggies. That's okay. Well, maybe it's just just the wrong counter. Oh well. I mean, I'm also not taking that much damage from these guys, but I think yeah, I'm taking damage a lot faster. Don't like that. Yeah, maybe laser damage is just good against uh, against infantry. Anyway, let's see. We can get another one of you. So let's go with that. Okay. Oh, this this building here got deactivated. That's okay. We come down here. Maybe we can murder this guy here. Hmm, so what are you good against? That's the question. Maybe your power has been restored. Good, good. Thank you for that. Yeah, let's see. Ah, maybe I was wrong about the uh, higher tier units just always being better. Maybe I was wrong indeed. Let's hope these guys are really good against buildings. That's what I would like right now. But let's see. You can... I guess you can take one more of these terminals here. And then we'll see how much stuff these guys here have and how fast we can destroy their stuff. 
I do have anti air here. How fast does that go down? Not fast enough, I tell you. No, definitely not. We could go for a full ground attack, but we also need anti air, so that's that's another problem here. So you can destroy this, but they can just replace it so easily. That's that's the problem. You can always replace everything so easily. I'm not quite sure how we are how we're going to get out of this. Anyway, so there was I think the boss is owned by green. Yeah, this was owned by green. Why has nobody taken that over at this point? Especially because blue's right there. Okay, I guess you're going to do that then. You're going to return home. So let's see what we do about that. So how expensive are these guys here anyway? Let's get another one of you and another one of you. Let's see whether I can maybe just rob, rob them so some more cryo terminals here. Then we shall see how this goes. But then again, yeah, again, the money is not really the problem, is it? How expensive are you? 1,200. So you are one of my most expensive units, are you not? You can build one of these guys here, but we, the defensive is not the problem. It definitely isn't. That's the issue. I also have the feeling the eyes are not... They're not moving out against one another because I don't really see them doing that much. And how do we get down here? I guess you can build a, a transport. Or you can slip through there with units, that's possible as well. But nobody seems to do that because these are all just neutral spikes. You can take this one here over because the eye, as, as demonstrated before, doesn't seem to have much of an interest of doing anything about that. Uh, I may as well kill you until you disappear. So, there's a nice bottleneck here, but yeah, is the AI doing anything here? That's the one of questions. Also, these laser guys here seem to be really good against other air units, which I guess is great, but... Let's see whether they can at least down the air force. Yeah, they seem... maybe that's what they're for. There's an anti-air force, air force. Okay. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to get sandwiched, but why were you even attacking me here? I was, I was going after your, your enemies here. Let's get, get another one of you. Just get you over here. You are to return here. Oh great, now they're coming. Now they're all coming after us. Oh well, what can you do? I guess we could build some yeah, let's just build some anti-air here. Uh, this should... Oh, we can't afford that, can we? No, we cannot. That's too expensive. Oh, well. That's what we get. That is what we get. Oh, and now... Are they just going to return? Maybe get over here, so we can at least get this guy here to relative safety. And nobody's taking over those spikes. No, that's nice. How can you even see me? But never mind. Thankfully, they would need about half an hour to bring down anything that we have here. And that should give us enough opportunity to just build one entire air gun here, which might already be enough to take all of them down. But we'll we'll see about that. Yeah, admittedly this is not really the mode in which you're supposed to play this. You're supposed to play this in multiplayer mode, but nevertheless, I mean, that doesn't really change the unit stats all that dramatically, does it, from what I know. In any case, oh great, it's just more of you, I guess. No, we don't really have enough money for that. Maybe we should have put a bigger focus on taking stuff over here, but that's kind of tedious, and it's really only fun when the uh, when the AI does it. But you know what? I think we're done here, because it seems the enemy is not particularly interested in attacking one another, because these... I mean, why were those guys even sitting in the base? They should be moving out. They're happy to gang up on me, and this, this seems to be, at least as it's working now, seems to get so much uh, towards defense. We're not going to go anywhere here. So yeah, take care and see you then.